Yeah, I mean, a thousand years, uh, you know, since those 11th century battles. Cultural prejudice against hashish in Western civilization. Oh, two tectonic plates, huh? Grinding, grinding. Aye. So that means half a million uh, Americans get thrown in jail, charged, life's ruined. No more jobs, yeah. That's on your record, uh, yeah. Because of what? You smoked hashish? Hey. Well, uh, okay, this bizarre situation. The Patans, yeah, they talk passionately amongst themselves. Uh, um, finally, Peace Alley, their leader, steeps up and says, Fink, you know, uh, we hope the Americans will not attack Afghanistan and imprison us for our hashish. Oh, Baram joins in. Yeah, he's suspicious. We're suspicious of both the Russians and the Americans. Why? Well, the king talked to Americans into building the road from Hayrat to Kandahar. We're talking 350 miles. Paved. It's half our country. Well, then the king talks the Russians into, well, building a bridge across the Oxus River. That turned out to be a real bad idea because it was wide enough for two Russian tanks to come through at once. Well, okay, and then the road, paved road, they made this tunnel, this long tunnel, to Kabul, and then Kabul to Kandahar. Gee. But they don't like any of those guys because they stay in their canton cantonments, their worker cantonments, isolated. They get drunk, they get boisterous, they get insulting. They break furniture and their own equipment and tools. Well, uh... Yeah, I mean, Mahmoud says, look, you heavies aren't anything like these folks uh, who travel to Kandahar from everywhere. Uh, you know, hippies freely mingle with us and wander through our bazaars, smoke our chums with us, and, uh, you know, sleep on the floor. On our beautiful carpeted floor where we sleep every night. Yeah, come and, come and have a pillow. No wonder all the hippies in the world are coming to Kandahar, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, all of you. A dwarf genius. He summarizes he, everything up to now. Just the whole morning, the meaning of the king of America will not allow his tribe. Oh, they got the expensive, beautiful tobacco with hashish. Makes his people so uptight, they jong jong war with Vietnam. Everybody mumbles their agreement. Okay. Well, um, the dwarf, you know, uh, he fetches an oversized uh, old fashioned oil squeeze can, which in his small hands looks surrealistically uh, large. And uh, he lubricates the rusty hinges on the trap door down to the hookah. Uh, the batons, the Egyptian, going up and down so many times. The grinding hinges. I was getting on his nerves, okay? He takes care of that. Well, Sphinx has become trusted. And more. Uh, Mahmoud Ponders. Uh, did not uh, Omar gift his amber chillum to Sphinx? Must be his most uh, cherished disciple. Oh, uh, didn't we not yesterday, uh, upon learning, he has the amber chillum, ask for guidance, life guidance, and he's guiding us right now uh, by this um, stripping off this seven veils. Mm hmm. And guiding us patiently through the pages. Uh, so according to our Patan hospitality, Melmestia, we must uh, gift him 
in return. Uh, reward him. Well, Muhammad looked for for agreement from John Shid and Bahram. Oh, the twin, twin, twin first cousins, dwarfs holding hands. Yeah, uh-huh. Men do that in this part of the world a lot. Um, they bow in a unison agreement. Yeah, reward. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Muhammad. Sphinx. Kismet, okay, beckons you this morning. And inshallah, if Allah wills, we will initiate you into the mystery of the moldy. Hashish. Jom orders the, the hashish days. Startled Egyptian. Come on, Alexandrian, follow us. Well, um, yeah. Well, the three uh, lust enlightened, Patan dog fighters split the bazaar and uh, Sphinx following excitedly behind them. On peace, Ali, he goes back to manage his, the hotel. His, the morning buses are coming in. He's going to got take, take, take over Sphinx shift today, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We will initiate you. You've wanted this since you were 12 years old. 